And I didn't want to accept that. So I was always struggling against other people's conceptions of life. And it was almost like a war sometimes. It was very difficult. But now, I'm grown up. I'm able to establish myself as who I really am. And who I really am is Krishna's servant. Huh? I'm the servant of the devotees. I really like taking care of the devotees. I have so much fun, like going to town and going shopping and doing all this stuff. For me, this is great fun. Uh, because I'm serving the devotees. That's the only reason why. I want to protect this uh, ashram. I want to protect this project. I want to make sure that it grows. I want to make sure the devotees are happy, that they have everything they need. Uh, so uh, that includes emotionally and intellectually and artistically. And every, you know, They're practicing kirtan every day. And it's getting really nice now. Uh, in six months, we're going to be, like, unbeatable. <laughs> so uh, this is the life of devotional service. And I invite everyone to join this uh, community of devotional service. And uh, the more that someone gets involved in this community, the more that we feel that we have to help them and protect them and facilitate their uh, advancement in devotional service. And we're always working on projects. We have the secret project X3 now. Yeah, we stayed up late last night talking about it. But I can't say anything. But, don't, but this is going to make it much easier for the devotees to preach and to perform devotional service in the future. So we're always working on stuff. Huh? We're, we're always, like Prabhupada would say, taxing our brain. But I, I think we've meet, reached a major milestone with the release of Vedanta Sutra. The Vedanta Sutra is like an um, a encyclopedia of the esoteric teaching. Everything that you need to know about spiritual life is there in Vedanta Sutra. So please get these books. Uh, we have an offer now for a complete set of books, only $101. This is very economical, very reasonable. And today's prices in books. Have you been to a bookstore lately? Huh? You get one book like this in the bookstore, it's like $30, $40. Easy. Huh? Big, thick book, nice cover and everything. So uh, if you got three or four books like this, you'd easily spend over $100. No problem at all. But we're offering seven books. Huh? The complete Vedanta Sutra, Vishnu Sahasranam, Nrsinghe Sahasranam, and then the two smaller books. Here Be Wisdom and uh, Secrets of the Soul. We're offering all seven books for 101. And uh, I guess, you know, it's a pretty good deal. So we'll just keep it up, or maybe we'll make another offer next month. I don't know. Maybe we'll change it. It just depends on what, how Krishna inspires us. But at least we're going to continue this offer through September. So do take advantage of it. Um, what else? Well, I guess we can have questions. Do we have any questions? No questions. No questions. Okay. This is one. It's the thickest. Okay. From Carl. Carl who? Carl. Huh? I don't know. Carl, you know your last name? Yeah. Is it Carl Tuck? Or the other Carl? Carl Clemens. Clemens. Oh, okay. Babaji, you mentioned Agnata statistics leading to coming in contact with the world one way or another. I sometimes feel reluctant to introduce certain people to this community 
because they seem to be just curious to me. Hmm? Should I send them a link anyway or should I not? Yeah, send them the link. Don't judge people because you don't know. Uh, Krishna knows and so he's arranged to bring them in contact with you. So let them decide for themselves how they're going to take it. Uh, if we decide, oh, this person is insincere or this person's a rascal, I mean, everybody is a rascal once. Uh, we were all rascals. Uh, well, <laughs> we're working on it. Though. But, but uh, who is to say who is worthy of devotional service and who isn't? Uh, actually, every living entity is uh, related to Krishna. And so everyone should get the chance, at least, to contact the absolute truth and decide for themselves, you know? Let them make up their own minds. If you make up, their, if you make up the, the decision for them, uh, maybe Krishna has another idea. Uh, of course, then he'll just arrange something else, some other way for them to get in touch. So whether they come through you or through somebody else, you know, uh, if they're supposed to, by means of their agatha sukriti, uh, if they're supposed to contact devotees, then they will. So if someone contacts through us and then they become a great devotee, we get the credit. You see? That's why, unless somebody is actually offensive, we always answer their questions on the forum. Because we don't uh, discriminate between, between different types of people. As long as they are approaching Krishna in a favorable manner. Uh, that's, the, that's the definition of devotional service, according to Rupa Goswami. He says, those who uh, think of Krishna and do service to Krishna in a positive mood. Uh, this is the definition of bhakti. So as long as they're in a positive mood, you know, we don't care how rascal they are, because we were all rascals. <laughs> and, uh, you know, by uh, association with devotees, somehow we got pulled out of sinful activities and stuff like that. But who knows who's going to be, sometimes the most unlikely people become really nice devotees. I remember one devotee in uh, Miami when I first joined ISKCON. Everybody thought that he was just like least likely to succeed in devotional service. Uh, and then I went off with Vishnu John's party and I didn't see this devotee for like 10 years or 12 years. And then I ran into him in Vrindavan, India, later on in the 80s. And he had become such a nice devotee. I mean, really advanced, really sober, humble, learned, I mean, he had all good qualities. But when he first joined, he was a mess. So it's really impossible to say. And then there were some really together guys, you know, who are, you know, in the beginning, they seemed like they were so cool and so had it all together and so strong and everything. Then one day it was like, where did so-and-so go? Oh, he left. Uh, so it's hard to tell. Actually, it's impossible to tell. Only Krishna knows who's really sincere and uh, who's just faking it. We don't try to make that judgment. Question from Devesh. Babaji is on vacation and he hates all many things. What does he mean by vacation? <laughs> <laughs> vacation means that I, I retired. All of the services that I was doing before, I delegated to different disciples. And now I'm doing something complete. I'm, I'm creating the future. See, that's my job, actually, is to create the future and to guide our community to success uh, by some route that has never been traveled before. Because Maya, what Maya likes to do is to uh, make it impossible for devotees to advance in, devo in s devotional service. Uh, so when some devotee comes along and finds a path that somehow or other leads to Krishna, 
then Maya will try to stop anybody else from going along that same path. See, I'll give you an example. That uh, in the beginning, ISKCON was distributing books everywhere. In the beginning of, of uh, this devotional t service teaching in the West. They were distributing books at airports, at fairs, at racetracks, you know, anywhere there were people. And then gradually all these different towns started passing ordinances that stopped the book distribution. And many of them were unconstitutional, but to fight each and every one of them in court would have cost more than we would get from distributing the books. So basically